If there's something strange in your neighbourhood, who are you going to call? Well, why should you call anyone? What's wrong with strange? Maybe these newcomers speak strangely or have a strange way of behaving, but that doesn't necessarily have to be threatening. It could be exciting, inspiring. It could make everything better. I think it's time we redefined what we mean when we talk about people being strange. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Oscar Powell, a research and learning assistant who, if he ever bumps his head, recites pi to 123 decimal places to ensure that his memory is functioning at its usual capacity. Lewis Barn, a law student who is also a part-time formal hire advisor for a leading menswear company. And their captain, Jack Bennett, an Elvis enthusiast who can often be found reading about the obscure Straits of Asia. United by a flair for fashion, they are the dandies. How do you know your teammates? Well, I met Oscar on um, University Challenge on the same series, and I know Lewis through the um, UK quizzing circuit. So. You all look absolutely lovely this evening. I like it when people dress up. You are facing tonight on my left. Graham Kerr, a music aficionado who has a pet cockapoo named Eddie. Owen Davis, a London cab driver who recently fell into the River Wye. And their captain, Alan Oliver, also a London cabbie, who once drove a premiership footballer and a handful of page three girls to a kebab shop. All former football coaches, they are the gaffers. So two of you are taxi drivers. Do taxi drivers have good memories as a rule? That is a rumour. Well, I hope it's true, at least for the next half hour or so. And how did you choose your teammates this evening? I walked into the local pub and they were the first two people I saw. We've all been there. We'll be kicking off with round one. What is the connection between four apparently random clues? Dandy, you won the toss, so you'll be going first. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Lion, please. OK. What links these clues? The first one is coming up now. It's going to stay one variety of Yes. So it's five. So it's another variety of We'll go for a variety. Try taking another one just to see if they're dry going for now. So we've got numbers of varieties. I think that's because it's a famous. Oh. Yeah. Uh, numbers of varieties of that sort of thing. I love your spirit coming in after one clue. I'm afraid that's not right, but well done for gambling. Sorry I can't give you the points. I'm going to show all the clues to the gaffers now for a possible bonus point. What's it called? What colour is that? I can't give you long. Uh, is it white? That's not yeah. it. Dandies, if you'd seen all the clues, would you have got it? It's symbols hidden in the logo of those companies. So. That's exactly right. We don't have the technology to bring up the pictures. I often look downwards to try and give viewers the impression that I've got some sort of screen. <laughs> There's just a man crouched there shouting the answers. But if you look at the logos of these companies, you'll see they have hidden features of 31. They do have 31 flavours at Baskin Robbins, they used to say, but it's hidden in the logo. The Tour de France logo, there's a cyclist there, a bear in a Toblerone, and an arrow in FedEx. Hidden features. So no points there, but gaffers, you have the chance to choose your own question. I have twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. Next, please. And next, please. Two seconds. Oh, I've just got faith. Well, I'm delighted to hear it. Do you have an answer to the question? No, none at oh. all. In that case, Dandies, it's your chance for a bonus point. Uh, things in 1984. That's exactly what it is. They're examples of Newspeak in the George Orwell novel 1984. Can you tell me what words these define? Um, <laughs> is the, is um, the third clue Newspeak? Or is that another one? Well, the whole thing is Newspeak. Okay. The third clue is Double Think. Double Think is loyal willingness to believe contradictory statements, blind enthusiastic acceptance of an idea, belly feel. All right. Someone vaporised and erased from existence, that's an unperson. Okay. An unperson. And the last one, thought crime, thinking against the party, which obviously we use today. Yes, Newspeak aspects of George Orwell's novel, 1984. Any of you kicking yourselves over there? 
No. No. You haven't read 1984? No. When 1984 came round, you were either going to read it that year or never, exactly. really, weren't you? Yeah. So well done, Dandies. You get a bonus point and your chance to choose. Water, please. The water question. OK, what is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Let's see. 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 Let's Next, please. Mm -hmm. Two seconds. What's the answer? Neville. Uh, Neville. Can you tell me something else? Uh, Richard Neville. They are all called Richard Neville. Yes, I think you had that after three clues, and it didn't help you to see the fourth one. No. Not really, no. <laughs> Richie Neville from the boy band Five. Yes, all known as Richard Neville. Not to be confused with the family of that great netball player Tracy Neville. Who's Tracy Neville's family, do you know? Phil and Neville Gary Neville's and the dad. Phil. Phil and Gary. That's Phil. right, the lesser sports people, Phil and Gary Neville and Neville Neville. But these are all Richard Neville's. Very well done. Gaffers, back to you for a choice. Um, Horned Viper, please. The snake for you. These are going to be picture clues. What do they have in common? Here's the first. <laughs> Next, please. <laughs> Next, please. And next, please. Two seconds. Go on. Straits. Not it, I'm afraid. So, Dandy's over to you for a possible bonus. Companies named after geographical features. I'm afraid that's not it. Now, I think the key to this is recognising any one of these geographical features. If you recognise any of them, you might get it. Stop me when you know what I'm talking about. You are looking at pictures of Alderney, Wellington, Tobermory... Oh, uh, Wombles. ..and Orinoco. They are Wombles. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing that we've got to series 13 and we haven't had Wombles in uh, pictures of maps before. But that's it, Wombles. No bonus then, Dandies, but you may choose a question. Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. Uh, the music question. What connects these musical clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Oh, oh. Next, please. All through the winter time, he hid himself away, ashamed to show his face. Two seconds. Boys' names. No. That's not the answer, I'm afraid. So, Gaffers, you have the chance for bonus point now. Is it? Baby animals, though. It is baby animals. Did you recognise any of the I knew songs? The song was Joey, the Bob Dylan song. But Joey is the first one. What else did we hear? Puppy, Puppy love. love. Mm -hmm. G little Jimmy. And uh, and the ugly oh, duckling God. at the end there. Crazy chick was the second one by our local girl Charlotte Church. You might be a bit young to know Puppy Love. Mm, yeah. I'm not talking about the song. I just mean in general. You know, in your lives. Yes, uh, Puppy Love, the ugly duckling, Crazy chick, Joey, all baby animals. Well done, Gaffers. That's your first point. And you will get the last question of the round, the two reads. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Next, please. Next, please. Next, please. 
We have cups. I need to hear a little bit more than that. Rugby. Rugby trophies. I will accept that answer. Rugby trophy, Six Nations trophies oh, yeah. in rugby and the teams that are holding them at time of recording. Which ones did you recognise? Calcutta. The, the last one. Yeah. Only Calcutta. the Calcutta Cup. <laughs> the last one. Yes, the Centenary Quay. That's oh. played between Ireland and Scotland. Giuseppe Garibaldi Trophy and the Millennium Trophy. All rugby trophies and their holders. Well done. That means at the end of round one, the Dandies have two points. The Gaffers have two points. On to round two. The sequence is round. This time the teams may see a maximum of three clues because I want to know what comes fourth in the sequence. Dandies, you'll be going first again. Which hieroglyph would you like? Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. OK. What would come fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Displayed. Yeah. Next, please. Next, please. Yeah, yeah, was he on? Uh, 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 he was killed in the to do with zero. It's something that was zero. Area, uh, aviation or... And why would that be? Well, we can Virgil possible. Grissom was killed in Apollo 1 testing, so... Ooh. Yeah. Good learned knowledge. Not the answer, I'm afraid, so a bonus chance for you, gaffers. It would be something describing something that has the initials DSI. For so example... Detective Sergeant Inspector, <laughs> which doesn't exist. It's Detective but... Superintendent, yeah, I think, yeah, would be more yeah, traditional, but that's yeah. absolutely right. DSI. And uh, I think you recognise that this is an alphabetical one. Display of an aircraft's airspeed, airspeed indicator, ASI, British Standards Institute, responsible for the kite mark, BSI, CSI, that's in the TV show. It's Gil Grissom, who's actually a protagonist in a crime scene investigation. So we need DSI, Detective Superintendent, or whatever made-up policeman you went for. Well done. And your turn to choose a question. Uh, lion, please. Lion. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. Is it Wordle? Next, please. Oh, hang on. Uh, eight, eight, uh, eight, 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 eight. Oh, come on. Yeah, yeah, that's right. What does it say? It would be uh, transport. Yeah, go for that. Go for no, no, uh, let's put plenty of time. It's, it's a factory, Italian, automobile. Two seconds. Transport. I'm afraid that's not it. Dandies, do you want to have a go for a bonus? We think it's Turin. It is Turin. What is this sequence? It's um, the Fiat, uh, the, the car company, and what each of the letters represent in the name. That's exactly right. Fabrica Italiano Automobili Torino, or Turin. We've translated it into English. Did you know it was a Fiat sequence? Yeah. yeah, just didn't know what the T was for. Do you have other cars, or do you drive around in your taxis? No, we have other cars. Other cars, of course, yeah. Couldn't drive around in a taxi all the time. But when you're in your other cars, you can't use the bus lane. Well, true. true. I'd use the taxi all the time if it was me. Well done, dandies. You get the bonus, and you may choose your own question. Horn and Viper, please. The Horn Viper. What is the fourth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. It's not going to be something as simple yeah, as that. Is it, is it but is it, is it like? Oh, is it like a gap of one between? Is it yeah. a, gap, a gap between each of them? No, because it's it's was in the middle of the first. It's a major, it's a major than the sound, the sound player, than the band. Is it coming in? May 2016. Theresa May 2016. Is the right answer. Very well done. I wonder what sequence you're thinking of. Well, it's UK PMs with one missed out from Callaghan Major and then Brown and then Theresa May. Third, we've got Gordon Brown 2007 and fourth, Theresa May 2016. And I think that's a correct sequence, but it's not the sequence we were thinking of, <laughs> which is unelected prime ministers. Oh, These are people who became prime minister without a general election. But actually, your more mathematical sequence holds true as well. Very well done. 
Back to you, gaffers, for a choice. Two reads, please. Two reads. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Next, please. Who are they? Laura and Annabelle. It's the first name, it's the name. It's definitely the name. Yeah, Laura and Annabelle, what are they? Next, please. Two seconds. <sighs> Laura, Laura. No, I can't give you long. No. I don't know the answer. Dandies, another bonus chance. What, a packet of space raiders or something like that? Raiders. Yeah, raiders. Something that indicates raiders. We've got a player from the Oakland Raiders team. I think you know what the sequence is over I there. I was getting... Is it something to do with Lara Croft? Yes, Lara, Lara Croft, Croft, Tomb Raider. Lara. That's the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior yeah. in that we third picture. And where would you find, what if I jumped into the taxi and said, take me to the Tomb of the Unknown Warrior, where would we be going? Oh, please. Westminster <laughs> Abbey. Abbey. Westminster yeah. Abbey is the right answer. You recognised over there the sequences, the name Lara Croft, Tomb something Raider. Well done. Which hieroglyph would you like? Water, please. OK, the water question. What is going to come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. <laughs> So let's go next. Next, please. And this Scottish independence referendum. Yeah, can you? Um, well, Scottish independence referendum or something that happened in 2014. Would be an acceptable answer. We went for the conscious uncoupling of Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. You went for the non uncoupling of the United Kingdom and Scotland. What's the sequence? Well, well, 1714 yeah, for Queen Anne, 1814, 1914, 2014. Jumping forward 100 years, that's absolutely right. Back to you then, Gaffers. One question remains. The Eye of Horus, that beady eye, is swivelling towards you. What comes forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next, please. It's not the album cover. Next, please. No, the grass. Is it to do with the letters? Is there letters? Two seconds. Rock four in brackets. And why would that be? No reason whatsoever. Not it, I'm afraid. So, Dan, is over to you for a possible bonus. S sand four. And why would that be? No idea. <laughs> you know what's a shame? Is that, in a way, I could have given either of your teams the points, but you had to tell me why you were saying rock or sand. If either of you had said, because they are brown, I would have given it to you. Oh, Pop the red sand, back, screw back oh, for the yellow, green, brown, blue, pink and black. It's colours oh, of snooker balls. Blood, the red ball yeah. worth one. The yellow banana worth two grass. I mean, based on my own house, I'm assuming that's the brown. Three, I needed to hear something that was brown because we're going red, yellow, green, and the brown is worth four. So you sort of both named brown things, but I don't think you'd solved the puzzle, so I couldn't give it to you. That means at the end of round two, the gaffers have three points and the dandies have ten. <laughs> Time for the fearsome connecting wall now. And gaffers, you're going to be the first to have a go. So would you like lion or water? Lion, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the lion wall, starting now. Brandy. Singer, singer, singer. Seal. Seal. Gaffers, Gaffers like apple brandy. Gaffers. Shows the singer as well. Brandy. Yeah. Is there only one word? Sears. Oh. Pixie Lot. Let's put it on the cob. No, she's double T. Cob. Cob. Sear. Is it a free little word? Goo. Cob. They'd be followed by something. Tom. Tears. Tears. Wait a minute. Shell. They're all one word. Paris. Yeah, and Sears. I've done yeah. that. Shell. Okay. One of them, is it? Who's Paris? Is it? That's not a. Brandy. Brandy's a singer. Yeah, go on. Yeah. 
we'll start circling. Cool. So let's try that again. Go to a minute left. Oh, brandy, why not? I've done that no. Who's see her? I don't know. It's a gander. Let's have a look. You still have a gander. Gander, drake, they're birds, oh, isn't they? Uh, cob, yeah. cob, 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 to, uh, swan. Try Tom. Is it Tom? Do you like it? Tearsel. Tearsel. We'll try the tearsel. Seconds. Not with cob. No. I no, I've done that before. Again, that. Uh, see it. See it. Oh, no, that's it. The time is up. The wall's frozen. What a horrible oh, wall. I'm sorry. This is. There's something horrible going on in this wall, but you found a group, and what about the connection? Seal, area, matter, goo. Can I be preceded by grey? You can put grey before all of them, and you can still get points for the connections in the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. That's how it should have been. Lot, Paris, Cher, Calvados. No idea. None at all. No, it's really staring you in the face. They're areas of France. They're département of oh. France. And what about that next group? Usher, Seer, Brandy, Drake. Oh, oh, singers. Those rappers. are the singers. Yeah, yeah, Seer you didn't put in the group, no. a more obscure one. Those are the singers. And the turquoise group, Cobb, Tiersel or Tersel, Tom, Gander. The little birds. Those are the birds, the male birds. Yes, sir. Uh, we had to, just didn't we try them all together. Did, we didn't do them. We you didn't, didn't try the right four together. Yeah, but also, no. the horrible problem you had was that there were two red herrings, Seal and Cher, yeah are both, both. one-name singers, yeah. and they were in different groups. Yeah. So that was very unlucky. But you found one group, and you found three connections. That's a total of four points. Let's bring in the dandies now, give them the other connecting wall, see what they can do about solving it. You'll be getting the water wall. You've got two and a half minutes, starting now. So, great articles of code, and they've record. Yes, yeah. a riddle. Um, or things meaning, you know, like a riddle, a puzzle, and like, well, things you try and solve. Mystery. So we'll, we'll yeah. try those five just now. Yeah. Oh, sorry, leave it no, of course. No, that must be. And puzzle. Right, leave it. Puzzle in there. Leave out. I don't think range would be in there, sure. Oh, like, yes, sorry. Yeah, an enigma. Leave out. Mm -hmm. Root, pedigree, Stop. stock, strain. So varieties of. But okay, let's try this. Yes, we go. Cool. Pe there's definitely words for like bloodlines and things. So should we yes, try good good pedigree, good. breed, strain, stock, stock. Good. stock. Good. Okay, Wait, so now let's see. Three lives now. Uh, plenty monkey, of time. Monkey. Is monkey, yeah. puzzle, is monkey puzzle and monkey nut. And you can monkey, monkey wrench, monkey wrench. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, as well, so well, let's no, put monkey those, business. Let's put those three in. So so yes. business, a business puzzle, business. What we got? Business, business puzzle. Uh, wrench. Try wrench. And monkey wrench. And then I yeah, think monkey wrench. wrench. And then and don't, 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 no, no, like let's not go any other. We've got loads of time. Um, so twist or twist spray into your dome, like an injury. And wrench can be an injury as well. Peanut. So uh, jacket is jacket an injury though? You can, no, you can have a monkey jacket. Um, so yeah, you can have yeah, uh, yeah. monkey puzzle, monkey business, monkey sure, try, jacket, and monkey nut, and the rest all mean to injure yourself. So twist so spray and tear and wrench. Jacket then. Yes. Let's do that. I mean, don't quite wrench. It's jacket. It's monkey jacket, monkey nut, monkey puzzle, monkey business. That's it, you've solved the wall. Very well done. So that's four points, and you'll get more if you can tell me the connections. Riddle, enigma, conundrum, mystery. Well, they're all synonyms for something that Puzzles, you need to work you know, out. Things you know, to work puzzle. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly so. What about the green group? Breed, stock, pedigree, strain. Blood yeah. Yeah, variety of supplies. Exactly so. And the next one, jacket, nut, puzzle, business. Words that can be preceded by a monkey. monkey. They can. Now, you're the menswear expert. I'm indeed, yes. <laughs> what is a monkey jacket? I wish I could tell you. I've never seen one in my entire life. I've only, I only know that through quiz. 
a classic item of clothing closely associated with mods. Oh, there you go. What about the last group? Twist, wrench, tear, sprain. Here's an injury. Things you can do to yourself. You know, Anatomical yourself. injuries. Yes, and no injuries for you as you attack that wall. So that's another four points for the connections. Bonus of two. You get the maximum of ten. Let's have a look at the scores going into the final round. The gaffers have seven points. The dandies have twenty. So there's a bit of ground to make up for you, gaffers, but lots of points available in round four. And, of course, if the teams get anything wrong in this round, I will take a point away. This is my favourite bit. It's the missing vowels round. Fingers on buzzers teams. I can tell you that the first group are all names and phrases that include golf clubs. Dandies. Jeremy Irons. Correct. Dandies. Putts wedges. That's not really a thing, I'm afraid. Gaffers, do you know? No. Potato wedges is the answer. Next clue. Dandies. Back seat drivers. Correct. Gaffers. Tiger Woods. Correct. Next category, things a teacher might say. Dandies. Where's your homework? Correct. It's your own time you're wasting. Next clue. Dandy. See me after class. Correct. Gaffers. Sit properly. Correct. Next category, newspapers that specialise in business. Dandies. Financial Times. Yes, it is. Dandies. Wall Street Journal. Correct. Gaffers. Hand is flat. Well done. Gaffers. City money. Well, that's not it, I'm afraid you lose a point. Dandies, do you know? City AM. Next category. There will be no next category because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz and I can tell you that the winners with 25 points and through to the next round are the Dandies. Finishing in second place with nine, it's the Gaffers. Thank you very much, Gaffers. I'm afraid it's time to go home, but I wish you a good drive home from Cardiff. And you've been a lovely team. Really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming along. And that is the end of the show. Now, earlier in the programme, I mentioned that if you've got something strange in your neighbourhood, you don't need to call anyone. Just practice a little tolerance. Well, we've heard from a viewer who says, but what if it's a massive marshmallow man monster? That's easy. All you need in that situation is a massive toasting fork. Yum, yum. Good night.